Hi, my name is Schaefer Crawford, and the film that I chose to analyze is called The Lego Movie. It's about an ordinary construction worker named Emmett, who is believed to be the special, um, who's basically the savior of the city, and uh, he's the savior of the city who's going to defeat the evil villain and disarm the Kregel, which is basically crazy glue, but it's going to freeze the whole city. And Emmett stumbles upon the piece of resistance, which is what the president of business, who's the evil villain, is going to use to freeze the whole city. So he actually gets arrested for finding this piece of resistance. And uh, when he's arrested, he he believes that he's a very popular guy and, you know, is a really good guy. And so during his arrest, they ask, you know, they ask him questions. Why, you know, why do you have this? And, you know, that, you know, obviously you're the special. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. He has absolutely no idea. He stumbles upon it. And, um, and they do interviews of his coworkers and they tell him that, and they say in the interviews that he's not a popular guy, you know, Emmett, oh, we don't really know Emmett. And there's just nothing about him that, that grabs the attention. And so you can immediately see Emmett's self-confidence, uh, shake. So he goes, he, he's, he's an ordinary person. He truly is. So the moment that Emmett finds out that he's a special, um, and that he's an extraordinary person, Emmett becomes immediately overjoyed again because he is believed to be someone that stands out and is somebody that people know. Um, he finds out that he's a group that he's a part of this group called the master builders who create all these amazing things and come up with all these original ideas and thoughts. And what's ironic is Emmett can't come up with an original thought. Um, so because of his lack of original thoughts, Emmett feels less, less confident in his ability to be this special because all of these people can do all these different amazing things and Emmett can't do any of it. And so during this time, we see his self-confidence. So it starts off as a very self-confident guy to nothing. He completely loses his self-confidence to being built up again, finding out that he's a special, and then realizing the people that he's a part of, the group that he's a part of, um, is this amazing group. And he's finding himself to be incapable of doing any of these things. So... As the movie progresses, um, he eventually realizes his potential because he he starts to create things. He starts to come up with ideas that people event in the first, you know, in the beginning of the movie actually kind of attacked him on. And afterwards, he just went, he continued to move forward with his thoughts and ideas no matter what they said. And... During that, they realize his potential. And so as the movie draws near to an end, we see that Emmett is actually sacrificing. In order to save the city, he sacrifices himself. And so he falls down a hole, which takes him to another world, which is the real world. He's in like an actual living, not animated world. And so we come across this child playing and he's actually playing with his father's Lego collection, which is a hands off, not allowed to touch thing. And, um, we eventually come to understand that the creation of the movie is of, from this little boy's world and Emmett is the little boy and the villain is his father and he's incredibly strict and you're not allowed to have your own original thought. Everything is cut, you know, cut dry. And um, and so throughout the movie, you can see so many of the concepts that we have come across um, this semester. The first thing that absolutely stood out to me was self-concept. Uh, self-concept, the definition says the relatively stable set of perceptions one attributes to oneself. Um, we can see that Emmett went through so many different feelings of self-concept and um, he was up, down, up, down with his emotions. 
And, uh, and then the, the other one was self-esteem, another huge one that we can see his appraisal of oneself worth, which went from the beginning, very high, very confident, uh, very sure of himself and just a very happy guy. You see the main song being everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. And I'm awesome. And this town is awesome. And president business, who's the evil villain, he has no idea is awesome. And, um, and so we can see that Emmett's self-esteem changes when he finds out he's actually not this or this extraordinary person in the beginning. Um, the next interpersonal, to me, communication that really stood out was a theory was um, the social comparison theory. Um, this is a theory affirming that individuals compare themselves to others to develop a feel for how their talents, abilities, and qualities measure up. Um, Emmett immediately compared himself to the master builders and when he did this and others started comparing himself to them, um, he became less confident and less sure of himself. And we do this every day in our life. And that's, I mean, it's literally embedded in our minds that we are not good enough. We see it in advertisements. Advertisements is number one attacking of this. It's a conf confirmation of the social comparison theory that, you know, we should not be having to deal with in the real world, but we do every single day because advertisements and the way that the world has, has conformed. So Emmett actually fell victim to this and, um, he felt, he went, he fell subject to rejection as well, which is the negation of or a disagreement with self-appraisal. And he felt rejected by all the master builders and everyone around him. Nobody liked him. It's not that they didn't like him. They just didn't know him. And um, during the end of the movie, as Emmett starts to succeed, he can, you can see, um, that he has started to develop a positive self-efficacy. A positive self-efficacy is belief in one's own abilities, com competence, and potential. So he starts to build up his confidence and potential again. And he plans to take down the evil villain. And because of Emmett's behavior, his, his positivity and his happiness basically led to his success in, in the movie as well. Um, when we get to the end of the movie, you can see the massive parts of the interpersonal communication that really come into play. So in the beginning of the movie, we see the self-concept and the self-assurance and, um, very high self-esteem. And then at the end of the movie, we can see the father and the son's relationship, which is really not a relationship. It's the father telling the son, this is how you live your life. And it's cut and dry, black and white, and you're not allowed to play even on the street corners. You have to play in this little box, in this little bubble, and everything has to be perfect and strict and there's no room for fun. And my recommendation when it comes to these things is we have to learn and we have to teach others in order for us to be a good leading example we have to teach others that it's okay to be different and to think outside the box. Just like the master builders, they thought outside the box. And then you see President Business or the father who had the set of rules and there was no bending the rules. To me, that was something that I thought was really crazy. I... I don't want to say I bend the rules every day, but I think outside the box because if I thought inside the box constantly, I'd be stuck. I, I would be in a rut. And that's not fulfilling. And you can see how it isn't fulfilling. And it you can see the evil villains, why they're evil and why they're unhappy because they are stuck. They are stuck in a rut. And things are the same. So for me... I would really recommend that in our own personal lives, 
We have to remove the micromanagers. That's something that we see that's so self-evident. They're literally called micromanagers. They're these robots in the movie that say we're taking, you know, no, we have to micromanage you to make it perfect. And to me, it's just hilarious because we don't want to be micromanaged. And it's something that we're so anti here in our own lives. And yet we do it all the time. And so these are things that we need to eliminate. And this movie is a really good example of what not to do when it comes to life and to think outside the box, see the whole color of the coloring box or the crayons, not the coloring box, but the crayons, and not to just look at the black and white, but to read, to bend the rules. And to have fun and not compare ourselves to, to the advertisements. Because buying that bikini or buying that drink isn't going to make us better. It's not going to give us the confidence that we need. We have to take it upon ourselves to love ourselves. And to believe in ourselves. Because the moment that we stop believing in ourselves, we're never going to succeed. Thank you.